Well, there is no better way to continue our Halloween extravaganza than with some creepy crawler friends. I could do another cocktail. Uh, you know, I could do that instead. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Animal educators Sharon and Dan Peterson Jr. from Incredible Bats join us now with more. Of course, I'm just kidding. You guys are always wonderful when you come in studio. Oh, thank you. We appreciate Even that. Even if I'm not a huge fan of today's guests. With and, you. and a lot of people aren't. When I do my uh, surveys for my shows, I ask, what are you afraid of? And typically, spiders rank the highest, okay. you know, as far as being afraid of, yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you know why people are so afraid of spiders? Well, they crawl. They're, you know, they're hairy sometimes. They can be quite big to some people. Sure. And um, and they can run fast, and so they're afraid they're going to get on them. Oh, okay. I think that's really what it is. That's mostly yeah. what it is. Yeah. Okay, so what have you yeah. brought for us today? Well, we've brought four spiders. Um, there are about five species of tarantulas that are really um, more docile and gentle. Mm -hmm. So we can actually hold them. And I'll go ahead, go ahead and take out the other one there. I'll show you the two that we can handle. Mm -hmm. There's one we're not going to handle, though. There's okay. a, a lot we're not going to handle on this side. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to take out, I've got the Honduran curly hair, and his oh nails are, okay, gosh. grab that. <gasps> All right, her, I should say her. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is called the Honduran curly hair tarantula. Do they jump? Mm -hmm. And no, okay, they're, okay. they're not jumping spiders. Okay. Although jumping spiders are really interesting. But anyway, this is a Honduran and curly hair tarantula. Mm -hmm. And then my son Dan is holding. Go ahead. So this is a Mexican red knee tarantula. And although they are from Mexico, they're also found in Nevada and Arizona up into America a bit there. So they're a very cool spider. You can see she has those nice bright orangey red sections on her knees there. Mm -hmm. And she actually is an arthropod because she does have jointed legs, a segmented body. And you can see you're looking at her exoskeleton there. Is she full right. grown? Yes, she is, yeah. But they'll still grow a little bit more as they age, okay? okay. So the cool thing about tarantulas, they're a long-lived spider. And so what happens with them, females can live 20 to 25 years. Oh, wow. Isn't that amazing? That is Males amazing. live less than 10. And in some spiders, some spiders, they, uh, they're a group of spiders that they die shortly, you know, after a couple of years, they lay their egg sac or whatever. So it depends, but, but uh, tarantulas tend to be long-lived. Okay, Ooh. and so where would you find this spider? Would you would find one in, in Central America? America. It's only in Central, Central America. America. Central America. We have no... Um, tarantulas in Illinois, in okay. Chicago. Okay. Um, our biggest spider is the wolf spider. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can we see some brown, some brown ones, though. Are those the brown recluse spiders? Well, brown recluse are really tiny and yeah. very hard. M not many people find them. Mm -hmm. But I do know two people that were actually um, bitten by them. The Dresden power plant, the nuclear power plant, I had two friends that worked there, and one got bit on his <gasps> nose, oh. and the other got bit on his arm. And what that venom does from the brown recluse, it's a necropic type venom, so yeah, it starts, starts to eat away at the skin. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Unlike the black widow, which attacks, you know, like it uh, goes into your bloodstream. Right. Okay. Yeah. Hey, so and so what about this one? Is this poisonous at all? All spiders are venomous. Okay. All of them are. If it bit me, it would feel like a bad bee sting. Okay. Okay. But not toxic to humans. Okay. Oh, okay. So the deadliest spider is called a Sydney tunnel um, web spider. That's the deadliest one. So, but not this one. Why is that one called curly hair? He doesn't really have curly hair. It's very fuzzy. Okay. So if you compare the two of them here, this one's a lot fuzzier than that one is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So these yeah. can actually bite you right now. Sure, but um, she thinks of me more like a table. You know, I'm just a surface for her to be on. Okay. I let kids hold it all the time. Mm -hmm. I put it in their hands, they hold it, and they get through a lot of that. I have just had an adult last night at a birthday party who um, who held one, and she was just shaking like a leap, but then yeah. she was like, real calm afterwards. She's okay. like, it was really, yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. So when do they attack? If they feel threatened if they feel threatened. But first, before attacking, they would do something called kicking hairs. So you see on the back of her right there, there's a spot that's, that doesn't have any hair there. Yeah. So they kick hairs. And it's like kind of like a, how a skunk sprays to get away from a predator. They kick hairs to get away from a predator. So they'll, mm. they'll take their two back legs and very rapidly kick the hairs off. They're called urricating hairs. And they can get into the eyes. They can get into the sinus passages. Uh, some will just irritate, but some can blind or temporary blind or permanently blind, depending okay. on the tranche. There are 900 species of tarantulas. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, talk about, about the big guy that you got in front okay, of you there, well, too. That's, yeah, that's our newest addition, <laughs> okay? So he is a juvenile, or he or she, we don't know yet, yeah. is a juvenile, okay? So that's really sm uh, quite large spider, but small, because when it's full grown, it will take up the entire area of oh this uh, enclosure. Uh, it'll be a new enclosure by that time, of course, mm -hmm. but they can become 12 inches from front leg here to back leg here oh, in length. Wow. So yes, yeah, so it's called the Goliath bird eater. Mm -hmm. They don't really eat birds. That they were, um, someone uh, was a, a female um, naturalist uh, in Charles Darwin's time that 
drew a picture of one of them when she went on an expedition and she saw it eating a hummingbird, so she just called it the bird eater. But really they eat more like frogs and mice, things like that, crickets oh, and well, stuff. Well, those are frogs. pretty big. Yeah. You know? Yes, they are. Well, when it gets big, it can eat bigger prey, definitely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. And the other here? With all the, the webs. Yeah. yeah, so this one we don't handle either, This, but it can be when it gets older. This is a young one. It is called a Brazilian pink toe. And I and, and it looks kind of messy in there, and I know it is, but, but that's what it does. It kind of has these wh webs that are kind of just sheet-like and that, so it gets it very messy. I've cleaned it a couple different times, but every time I clean it, she just makes more, you know, that kind of webbing. And what is she doing when she's making the webs? So that's kind of her, she doesn't really trap the bugs in her web, but it's more of her, like, home, because she's um, what, what the kind of spider that's um, arboreal, mm -hmm. where these are terrestrial, they live on the ground, they make little caves for themselves, but these, uh, this particular spider lives in the rainforest, mm -hmm. and it makes um, webbing up above, so it has its little home there, and it'll catch bugs then, too. Oh, Ooh. amazing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so what good are spiders, just so everybody knows? Right, so the big thing that spiders do is they eat lots and lots of bugs. That's mm. their main thing, but there's medical uses for them, right? So, Dan, you might tell us a couple medical uses. Yeah, so they can use their venom for pain treatment. They can also use it to help people with uh, heart arrhythmias, and they've also been able to applicate it towards certain forms of cancer, so it is Ooh. very beneficial in those ways. And also, back in ancient times, they would use the spider silk as a form of gauze to stop wounds from bleeding, and there are still more purposes. They're actually trying to figure out how to use their venom as a drug delivery system for certain drugs that match those chemicals and components. So they're All right. Very Spiders are our friend. Sharon and Dan, they thank really you are. so much. Here's the information for Incredible Bats. You can see their telephone number, social media handles, as well as their website. Obviously, they can come out and you can visit as well with these wonderful animals. Thank you so much. Thank I you very much. It.